What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and we are back with some more Punishing Grey Raven, and we have quite a few things to talk about. The first thing being is, in the news here, we do have our maintenance notice. So you can see it says August 3rd, and then this is going to last about five hours. We're also going to get 500 black cards in a serum bundle, and I think that's pretty fantastic. I'm actually really happy that they're going to be giving 500 black cards. That is amazing, my friends. Wonderful job. Shout out to the PGR team. And speaking of the PGR team, if we go into their Twitter page, the story mode and interlude for Lucio, Crimson Abyss, and Kamoi Bastion will open at the new version. Meet with the new opponents in the Arctic Route Union and unveil the past of the constructs. So what we have here is we can have it. We actually are going to be able to, I guess, farm shards for Lucia. You have to be commandment level four or i'm sorry commandment level 40 to do the new frozen of darkness which is pretty cool hopefully there'll be some black cards in here i don't really know if there will or not but this is pretty awesome so we got the new story mode that we're going to be able to play uh you just got to make sure they are commandment level 40 which most of us that have been playing this game since the global release were easily at level 40 even if you were just coming in here and casually playing as long as you were doing your dailies every day you easily probably got to commandment level 40 you wouldn't have had to play the game very long to get to that and then this interlude, this is pretty cool. So I would assume, because it's an interlude, that we're going to be able to farm shards for her. Now, I know, I mean, Kamoi, we were definitely going to, but it looks like we're going to be able to farm some shards for Lucia. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not really 100% sure, but when I see interlude, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to be able to farm shards. I was under the impression that s rank characters, they wouldn't farm for, but it is... An event so maybe that's why they're doing it i'm not really sure if they did it on the cn version or the korean version all i know is i see it right here and i'm thinking so yeah hopefully we can farm for some shards uh, when we get the update uh, we'll know a little bit more about that so that's actually some pretty insightful information if you know what i mean and now for the heart of the video which is a guide on how to beat 812 against Kamu. Now, Kamu does have a few basic attacks that he likes to do. And the first tip that I would give all of you is don't have your support on. I know that I tell you all the time to put your support on, and generally that is the case. But for me, and I can't say this for everybody, but for me, having a support in there when they're attacking, there's these cues that Kamu's going to give to you when he's going to deliver an attack. And it's difficult to see those cues whenever you have a support in there attacking. Another thing is, you know, maybe try not to use your QTEs too much. Whenever you bring a QTE character in, or not a QTE character, but whenever you do your their QTE skills, all those animations are corrupting your vision. You're not really seeing what Kamu's doing. You really need to see his cues for when he's going to attack you. You need to know when those things are actually coming. Now, this is the team that I ran with. This is a completely free-to-play team that everybody gets in the game. There's nothing about any of these characters that isn't free-to-play. If you take a look at their builds, well, except for the sword for Lucia, that's about it. I clicked on construct. I wanted to click on the equipment. But anyways, these are her memories. We got the Erwin memories, we got the Afi memory, and we have the Voltaire memories. This is the only thing that isn't really free to play. I got this by spending $6 in the top-up shop. They gave this sword for free, but you don't need this sword at all. We do have 2,800 BP. And then Nanami here, we just we don't have nothing special at all. We just got these regular memories. I mean, these are level ones, and these aren't optimal by any means. And we have our weapon here. That you actually get from a login event and then we have b lib b lib is really important for doing your heals and that's why we have all these healing memories i don't have her built at all guys i mean 1900 bp then this is a weapon that you get in the game everything is completely free to play except for the sword that you actually get from lucia now the basic attacks that old boy is going to do i'll bring them up for you guys right now is the first one here which is he does a little cue, he swings his sword back, and then he'll dodge straight forward. And I'll, I'll kind of back that up a little bit again, so you guys can watch that, okay? And you'll see it, bring it back, and there he goes. And I dodge, as soon as he come forward, I dodge backward. It's kind of a difficult cue to see, to be perfectly honest. And something to note, and the reason I went ahead and let that record go on a little bit is, if you notice, you know, we might have been in the matrix there, but that attack has a pretty good little amount of AOE where he spreads the blade out. And you got to make sure that you're coming around him to make sure you're avoiding that attack. So right here, I just kind of stand in front of him. I take that damage, but you really want to move around. Now, the next thing I want you to notice is we started this fight and we tried starting from a distance, okay? 
I'm going to start from a distance. This is what you don't want to do with a melee attacker because obviously you want to be close when you're using a sword, right? You don't want to be far away. But if you are playing with characters that have range, that are like Lee or Liv, you know, characters that use guns, well, this is what's going to happen. He's going to do a little diagonal dash, uh, diagonal dash, and then he's going to do a little slash and you're going to have to avoid it, right? So you got to be careful of that thing right there. And he'll actually swing a couple more times after that. So again, you want to kind of run around him and get behind him so he doesn't hit you. Now, the next thing is, you see this little cue right here? Right now, you see this little purple, like in his hand, right? Whenever you see that and you're all the way, this will only happen when you're at a distance. When you're at a distance, he's going to shoot a hand out that can actually grab you and bring you towards him. And you don't want that to happen, man. You want to avoid it. So when you see this cue, when you see if you're at a distance, this will only happen again when you're at a distance. Whenever he brings up that purple, you want to make sure that you dodge immediately. Okay. There we go. Now, I want to show you guys something right here. So I'm going to show you two things in this clip. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a cue that you need to be paying attention for so you know when to dodge. And also a method that you can use to try to do this with by taking and taking no damage at all now it's kind of cheesy it does take a little bit of time but the, the benefit to this method is you're not going to need a lot of bp to be able to do this so what you're essentially doing is you're coming in with lucia you're going to start doing your basic attacks right and he's going to do a little cue where you're going to see like uh these uh white white sparks kind of shooting out outside of him and there if you notice, see those little white sparks kind of hanging out of them? As soon as those things show up, you want to dodge. As soon as you see those babies dodge. And we went into the matrix. Now, whenever you're trying to do this method that I'm going to show you right here, you don't want to use your ultimate because it's going to throw everything all out of whack. And you want to make sure they use and be anonymy over and over and over because she's going to constantly knock him down, knock him on the ground, which is going to keep him from coming up and doing certain attacks against you. And what you're essentially doing is you're just going to keep doing your basic, 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 basic. You're going to bring Nanami in every chance you get, and you're going to dodge every single time that the boss has those sparkles of light coming out from him. And you want to make sure that you're always going towards him whenever you dodge. So you'll see, we'll just kind of keep the pattern going. We just keep it going, right? We're not taking any damage, right? Just keep it going, keep it going, dodge. Okay, dodge, keep it going, see? Bring anatomy, we keep it going. And you can essentially just keep doing that. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. But you can essentially just keep doing that over and over and over to do a battle with no damage without taking any damage at all. Uh, it, but it does take practice. I mean, you're obviously gonna get good, have to get good at dodging whenever you see the lightning, or whenever you see the light sparks coming out from him. Now let me show you an actual run where I felt it was actually much easier uh, to do this. Okay, so watch what I do here, okay? So we're just going to run towards him. We're just going to run towards him, right? As soon as I see them lighting sparks, I dodge. We go into the matrix and we start attacking. Move out of the way, start attacking. And then after that, he's going to do his little attack where he comes after you. Now, whenever he does that, he's going to bring his blade out to the side and then he's going to come at you. Make sure you're running behind him. You'll dodge and then run behind him as he's doing that. So there we go. See what I'm doing? I'm trying to get behind him. Then I attack. Move out of the way. Attack a little bit. Move out of the way. we we'll run up behind him. Attack. Okay, we're going to move to the side. There we go. And you can see there's just a nice little pattern. And just make sure that you're, you know, I did tell you guys, you know, don't use your, like, uh, ultimate for that other method. But for this method, it's a good idea to do your ultimate, especially with, be Lucia because she has such a long ultimate and it does do decent damage. And then of course you always want to make sure you're using, you know, your three orbs, you know, your right combinations, you know, with Lucia, it's always any three orbs and then her red orb afterward to do her dual blade. And then with Nanami, it's any orbs and then the yellow orb afterwards. And then with if you do if you use B Live, it's any three orbs and then her red orb to do her main damaging skill. Right? And remember whenever you're bringing in be live, she will heal you. And there you go, guys. Zero damage. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Even if I would have had a lot less BP, I would have been able to do that. No problem. It would have actually been very, very simple. And if your Lucia isn't built as well, no problem. You'll still be able to get it done. I guarantee it. He really isn't that difficult of a boss 
Once you get those dodge mechanics down, he's really not that bad. I mean, all you see me do was, as long as you're staying up close, he won't throw that hand out at you. So you're eliminating that one attack. And there's a big attack where he lunges forward, and you're actually eliminating that as well. I mean, if you're close, he mainly just does the two basic attacks where he does the lightning sparks coming out. You want to make sure you dodge on that. And then he'll hold his blade to the side. And then you want to dodge that and kind of run behind him as he's attacking. That way you don't take any damage at all. So hopefully this will help some of you out out there as far as clearing 812. So let me know if you're all excited about the update. Let me know who you used for 812 and how difficult it was for you. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.